Hello everyone, I am the Oven Man, and today I have a guide for you on how to get started on normal RTS game. Keep in mind, this game is subject to change and thus some things may not be accurate. Without further ado, let us begin our guide. First of all, how do you get started on this game? When you start off, all you are given is a command center and two workers. These workers are going to be used to build stuff. Your command center right by your workers though, must be defended, if you let it get destroyed, you lose the game. However, let us move on to the next item, how to move troops. To move troops, click on your troop or worker and click anywhere on the ground to move. To unselect a troop, press E to unselect a troop. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to how to build stuff in the game. To build stuff, you need cash. The first buildings that need building are farms. Go over here and click it. Then to place farms, get a worker near a green square called a supply area. You will need to keep your workers near where you are building stuff, however, for other buildings you don't need a supply area to build them in. Now, we will move on to how to upgrade building real quick before we move on to the next thing. To upgrade buildings you need to click on them, and on the bottom left gray right here is where you can upgrade buildings. Only thing is that you need the money to upgrade it. Here is a quick tip. Upgrade your farms first then upgrade everything else including turrets and towers as we will discuss later. However, forgot to mention one thing, energy powers up your buildings and lets you build more more buildings. If you reach the maximum amount of energy, you need to build a generator if you want more buildings. You can only have 6 generators before you can't build any more buildings, so use the generators wisely. Now, let's move on to how to build a wall. To build a wall, you will need to build 2 towers nearby each other, then from here select the two towers and click the F key to build a wall between the two of them. Once you build a wall, you can click on both towers in which you have a wall and pressing the F key again to open the wall up. Remember, if one tower goes down while there is a wall, the walls that connect from the destroyed tower will also be destroyed so strategize accordingly. Now you may be wondering, can you ally with other people in this game? Truth be told, yes. You can. To ally with people, if this notification pops up, you can either click accept to ally with someone, or click decline to not go into an alliance. You will definitely click yes because there will always be a strong player that will knock out everyone in the game. Now let's move on to the next part of the video, building an army and the troops. To make an army, you need one of three buildings to do so. This is a barracks, it can train a soldier, repairman and a heavy trooper. By the way, you can also train the medic if I am correct. This is a vehicle depot, you can make vehicles and cool stuff in there. You can make a jeep, a recon vehicle, anti-air, a light tank and artillery. This is an air pad, the only things you can train here are transport helicopters and choppers and that's basically it for the air pad. However, before we end the video you may be wondering, how do you win the game? Well, basically you need to strategize and figure out how to yeet someone's command center. This can be done in many ways but in another video I will explain the top 3 strategies in the game. For now, let's quickly go over the rest of the buildings and what they are before we end this video. This is a port, you can train water units such as fishing boats and battleships. This is housing, you can increase how much troops you may train by building stuff. This is a hospital, you can heal troops if they get close enough to it. This is the nuke building, you can buy nukes and nuke people with it if the game goes on for too long. However, the nuke can wipe out a command center if used correctly. Ok guys, that should cover everything for the tutorial. If you have liked this video, please give it a comment, like, and subscribe for more content. You can also join Razor's Discord to hang out, follow him on Odize and also follow his TikTok profile to see his reposted YouTube shorts. Anyways folks, good day good night and I will see you then.